Concord, Concord, Concord. PlayStation. Everyone come around, man. We need to talk. We need to talk about all this stuff that is being speculated. Because I think it's interesting. You know, we're going to talk about Concord and my opinions on the latest rumors going on with the game. Keep in mind, nothing's been confirmed. And we're also going to talk about God of War. Supposedly, there's another remake coming. <laughs> and we've we've been very vocal about these remakes, man. About these remakes. So, what's going on, you guys? Gaming out here coming at you another video. Today, we'll be talking about Concord. And we're going to talk about God of War. First matter of business we really need to talk about is just the Concord situation. For those of you that don't know, Concord is arguably one of the biggest flops in gaming history. There's so much stuff going on in porn of that that it's just I've never seen it. I have never seen a game be marketed the way it was, be a triple A product, come into the market on like a Tuesday and be announced like the following Friday that this this might be it for the brand. Uh those of you who know, obviously, Concord was taken off the store. They refunded everyone that bought the game, which, to my knowledge, I've never seen nothing like that. You know, maybe you guys can put in the comment section below if there's other, you know, scenarios or other types of games that has similar something like that. But I personally have never seen that. And you guys know when this happened, I was very, very adamant on I don't think Concord's out for the count. And that's just because, to me, what makes the most sense when it comes to this particular game is to go back to the drawing board, do some minor tweaks on like the foundation level, and bring this back as a free-to-play. Because, to me, it was easier for them to go out and do that and bring it back as a free-to-play than it would be just for it to sit there and die. Uh, people under Attic, if that's the case, why, why did they refund everyone because to me it's easier to you know refund the million when you're going to come back hopefully to you know a second surge on free to play than it is to like potentially open yourself up, self up to class a uh, class a lawsuits now I, I don't know if that was the case but i do feel like a lot of the reasons that they chose the direction they did was legal matters because they wanted to make sure that they didn't open themselves up to lawsuits. And I respect that. But you guys remember on IOP on this channel, I was very vocal. Don't think Concord's out for the punch. I think there's still something going to happen with Concord. And a lot of people, they were disagreeing with me, man. They are like, there's no way at it. They spent so much money on this. It's no secret. PlayStation has spent... A absurd amount of money on Concord to the point where I don't even feel comfortable talking about it because I don't know if it's true or not. You know, some say 200 million, some say 400 million. There's so much speculation on terms of how much PlayStation spent on Concord. I believe it in terms of how much money they put in towards this during the pandemic to marketing. There's so many aspects and so many avenues that they would have to spend an absurd amount of money on this game that would make sense, especially marketing. They marketed the hell out of that game. So I'm sure that PlayStation is like, what can we do to, you know, get some of this money back? Maybe not all of it, clearly, but let's get let's get at least half of what we put into it back, 200 million. Well, that's speculation, but let's 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 at least get half. So that's why I was never on board 100% to the mentality that Concord was just out. Because to me, even though it might cost you a little bit more money, you have Firewalk, go back into the cook, go back into the kitchen, rewrite some of the foundation structure, and re-release it as a free-to-play that might cost you minimum money, but you have the potential to, to recoup some of that money. And I understand people's, uh, you know, mindset. Look, they put so much money into this. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for them to continue investing. But to me, if it could come back as a free-to-play and potentially be successful, do I think it's going to be successful? I don't know. But I've seen crazy stuff in the past before. But I will. If this game comes out free-to-play, it might have, like, a core audience. But that's just about it. Depending on how they do free-to-play. So let's go ahead and read this 
document that was uh, this article that was wrote by PSU. Free, uh, Conquer free to play rumors surface as Firewalk updates PC game files. Concord has pulled. Uh, Concord was pulled offline only a few weeks after launch, but there's been speculation this week that Sony might be looking to relaunch the game as a free-to-play title after developer Firewalk Studio has been making changes with the game files on Steam's backend. Reddit user has been sharing images of a cloud database for Conquer with activity logged as recently as October the 8th. So they're clearly doing something behind closed doors with this. Now, obviously, that could be a variety of things. They could be doing patches. Uh, they could be doing stuff on the back end to maybe even delete it completely out of the the, uh, the servers. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not in that field. I'm sure you guys can speculate what you think's in there. Uh, this has a, a lot to do with uh, Concord being prepped for a relaunch as a free-to-play game. Nothing has been announced yet, so this is only speculation for now. In case you've been living under a rock since... August Concord utterly bombed on its release and it's probably one of the biggest flops in gaming history, let alone for Sony. So it, it clearly it's it's the biggest flop for Sony, Sony in particular. Uh, but when it comes to the gaming, like the biggest gaming flops, I still think it's one of the, if not the biggest gaming flop, even Lawbreakers, you know, Cliffy. I don't remember Cliffy's game dying faster than this game maybe you guys can put in the comment section below regardless what it is i think if they feel like they can still try to save this brand to some degree i'm all about trying it you know i do believe that if this doesn't work there's a chance that firewalk gets shut down and i'm not about that it's like look even though this is a colossal failure if they're willing and sony's willing try to savage it to some degree is it going to work who knows but a couple weeks to a cut, like a month, maybe two of extra game development to try to, to recoup some of that money. I understand. Second story, man, th th this one's <laughs> this one's pretty crazy. We know that PlayStation for a while now has been just throwing you remasters, remakes from Horizon to Last of Us to Until Dawn. There's been so much going on. When it comes to remasters and remakes for the PlayStation brand. Well, it looks like there's some more rumors going on. Some more speculation. Now, I don't know if this individual is, you know, validated in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I did look. He only had like 3,000 followers. Which is still, you know, still a lot for the average person on Twitter. Or X or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but... I've never heard this dude come out openly with any kind of information in the past, but we're going to read it regardless because I think this is an interesting thing going on. Uh, so this is pretty much a tweet from uh, Lunatic Lungoness. I probably butchered that, but it's okay. Yes, the rumors are true. God of War Greek Saga remastered, not actual titles in the works at St. Monica Studios and Nexus Software. The development is finished and they are just waiting for an announcement release. Releasing in 2025 with an announcement December to March. When I say Greek, I mean all Greek Saga, including one, three PSP games and Ascension. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Maybe you guys are going to disagree with me on this. I actually hope that this is true. It just depends on what they do in terms of this. You know, me, I love 2018. Uh, you know, I like Ragnarok was significantly less then I like 2018 because I really enjoy 2018. But I can't I can't say those games do not touch the masterpieces of God of War 1, 2, and 3. Especially 3. I have been on you know multiple occasions stating that God of War 3 is the best action adventure game to ever exist. And I stand on that. I stand on that. And it's like, look, regardless how we feel about it. You know, Nexus, they're going to be doing a lot of these remasters, remakes. Uh, they got Blue Point too. They could probably do more remakes than remasters. Uh, PlayStation knows that it's easy money. If they launch the trilogy of the original God of Wars, 1, 2, and 3, and according to this uh, rumor, it's going to be the PSP games as well. And I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy that, but I'm myself more interested in God of War 1, 2, and 3. I will play them again. I will. I will play the game. It's been years since I played the God of War franchise, the original, the OG, and I will play them as long as the remasters are done decently. 
Now, they don't have to be anything like, you know, what we see from Resident Evil or, you know, Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy. Most likely it's going to be a one to one. But I do want it to be on like a Dead Rising feel where it's like, even though that the games are clearly one to one, I want it to be a redone remaster. You know, I feel like a remake is taking a concept, using it, and turning it on its ass. That's my person what a remake should be. Like what Final Fantasy VII is. Uh, but to me, these games are beloved by so many people. And if it is there, it is there. Would you guys buy God of War remake or remaster? Don't, don't, don't lie to me. Put in that comment section below, would you guys buy that? Because I feel like a lot of people on, on Twitter that's capping saying they wouldn't buy that. You're buying that. You're buying that. You know, I didn't get the Horizon Forbidden West remaster or remake. I don't even know if it's out yet. I don't plan on getting it because I wasn't a big fan of that. I almost did pull the trigger on Until Dawn. I actually really enjoy Until Dawn. Regardless how we like it, PlayStation, they're particularly in a, in a situation where they got to go for quick money and easy money. And remakes and remasters, it's quick and easy. Most of the time, it's... It's more quick than easy because they're able to take an existing foundation, an existing house, rebuild it with some modern technology. You know, we got to get the modern, you know, uh, refrigerator. Got to got to update that 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 kitchen, make it more modern. It's easier to sell that than it is to go out and build a whole brand new house, especially when the house and the foundation, such as God of War, has been extremely successful throughout the years. But anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm very curious your guys' opinion on this. Uh, any other topics, I'm curious. I'm going to be going here. I know you guys probably don't think I don't read through these, but I do. I do read through these. But I'm very curious your guys' opinion. Uh, definitely hit the like button if you guys enjoy the video. We make content just about every day on this channel, especially the weeks. Uh, I've been streaming some Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero down there on the uh, Addict Arena. It's in the description below. All that stuff's down there. But I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Peace. Concord, man. Concord, Concord. I don't even know what to say.